Okay. So here we are. The condemned farmhouse. The night before a full moon from the looks of it, because I'm staring at it right now. It is July 3rd, 2020. You uh, picked it, so here's what we got. We have uh, an investigation for 30 minutes here, uncut footage, no bullshit. We have the recorder, which is already on, and then the spirit box, which is uh, may or may not have anything to it. I tend to think it doesn't really work, but uh, out of all the apps I could find regarding apps at all uh, in general, this is the one that uh, seems to be broken out more often than not. So we will bust out the spirit box called the Necrophonic. <laughs> we'll, we'll do some questions. Now, the house is behind me. Creepy AF. Totally. Wait till you see it. Um, and the first 15 minutes, so we'll start soon, I'm going to go silent. No talking. No narration. That'll be for the last 15 minutes or so, and then we'll break out the spirit box here. We'll, so we'll do an exterior search, and then we'll go inside and check out things. <clears throat> it doesn't seem like I'm trying to drag things along <laughs> instead of going in. That'd be right. So let's take a look here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. longer but I'm just gonna say you never know what you're going to run into here sorry about the explosions but maybe that's kind of cool so no more talking we're gonna go
so someone just drove up the driveway. That's why I came out here. Let me turn that there. And uh, I think they were either hoping to take a peek because this place is about ready to get torn down. So that's why I ran out. It's part of the game, I guess. So hopefully there's no more interruptions, but uh, I got the adrenaline going. Yeah, I don't hear anybody. We got 14 minutes left here. Okay, let's go inside and hopefully we can do this without interruption. something stagnant going. I have not got any vibes here. Obviously there's some <coughs> ignorant uh, taggers here. Talented artists though, eh? Now I know that there's a house beyond the woods that way. Because um, this is a, a nice neighborhood. It's not really a neighborhood as much as it is. Jesus, that happened last time. That's my alarm. Let me turn that off. Okay, jeez. We have to go into our phone anyway here. So, let me turn this on. Make sure nobody's coming. So this must be the kitchen. And uh, let's go ahead and start. So you're going to hear a bunch of uh, what sound like disembodied voices here. And I'm going to ask some questions. And we're going to try to derive whether or not this thing is answering us or not. So let me put the... First question, is anyone here? Let me turn this up. All right, we didn't get you that last time there. Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here? What's your name? I didn't hear anything, did you? 
Jesus. Tell us your name, or better yet, what's my name? Okay, I'm not, I'm not picking up anything. Is there anything here? And can you tell me what street we're off of? <laughs> Stairs and try it, so I'm gonna stop it. I don't know if that caught anything, but I always like to give the camera a chance to breathe. Let's see, one of the old country roads is this way, and that way, and it goes to the Puget Sound now. Mary ha Linda Hazard's Wilderness Hospital Starvation Heights, her old house where she died in and still haunts, is about a mile and a half away. And the Wilderness uh, Graveyard, her last month's strange stroll. I love this old paint cracking here, it's so good. Um, is around here, about another mile hidden in the woods, so this house has seen some history to it. Oh cool, look at the old bird nest. up here. I thought I heard somebody out here. I don't have any protection except my wits about me. What have we got? We got five minutes here. Alright, let's go. The last five minutes. Someone comes up here and just have to confront him. Okay. Where's the... All right. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? I'm not here. 
hearing anything. Oh, that street's busy. Did you know Linda Hazard? And did she kill? Well, let me just ask that. Did you know Linda Hazard? Did Linda Hazard kill a lot of people? Did you know that? because it slipped in this brown up here, I think, but it actually felt kind of strange right before it shifted there. That wasn't me that touched it. Um, but, you know, these gorilla pods aren't the most sturdy, so I don't know. I'm not getting much from the Spirit app. I don't think you guys are either. We've got about three minutes here left, so I'll just take a peek around. There's a uh, butte, huh? And is that as sketchy as it looks in real life? Yeah. central casting as far as creepiness is concerned. Not. This is a really bad idea. Caught on a board. Thanks for uh, coming along. We'll go to uh, more interesting places now. Still, to vote on this one, I think we got the uh, poll voting down via Facebook and the Strange Brow Radio. Dot com has the uh, link there for the next one. I've got something a little more comical in store for uh, the third strange drill. Uh, something I'd like to call COVID FET. I'll explain more later. And uh, you can uh, check out these previous Strange Drills at Strange Brow Radio at YouTube channel. And of course, strangebrowradio.com is a weekly podcast. Check all that out, and it'd help me out a lot if you'd order some of the merch. And you can find that at the uh, strangebrowradio.com merchandise website as well. Or it's at, uh, well, if you go to patreon.com forward slash strangebrowradio for three bucks a month, you can get all this information, including the download of uh, the Al Moon Lab, which is available. It's a four and a half hour audio book I did. And, uh, so, there we go, Condemned Farmhouse. Talk to you later.